Maranatha, everyone. This is Pastor Jed, and uh, it is not often that I get inspired to do a quick video, but um, today a lot of people are waking up uh, either in agony that their team lost or re rejoicing uh, triumphantly over a win. But um, I really kind of was on my heart, and I was thinking about it. As you know, most people know that I am a 49er fan, but uh, you know, the, the point was it was third and four with the game on the line. It was like, you know, the 49ers got all the way down to the 12-yard line. It was the third and four, and what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're, you're 12 yards away from a Super Bowl trophy, and you couldn't get it done. You couldn't punch it in, and it really made me uh, uh, see uh, that that it's it's really – the way of the world right now. The world is doesn't see that that we are right at the finish line of human history, and they're they're trying to find all the answers everywhere else than the guy that can get it done, Jesus Christ. Um, I was thinking of some verses that came to mind, and the first one, of course, is 1 John 2.18 that says, Little children, it is the last hour, and have you have heard that the Antichrist is coming? Even now many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. The reality, folks, is that uh, it is the last hour. It is third and four with the game on the line. That the, this thing, this world that we're living in, this time that we're living in is wrapping up very quickly. And we need to understand what is important. What is the most important thing? Is it that your team wins the Super Bowl? Is it really the most important thing that you, uh, you know, get that job or, or that next election that's coming up? Or, you know, the whole world is seeking its answers and, and its hope and everything else but the fact that Jesus Christ is coming again. And for you and I, I can't, you know, this is the best time. The, the time is right for us to know that it is third and four. The game is on the line. We're, we can see the finish line. The trophy is ahead. And what are you going to do? What is it that you're going to do? If I was, if I was you, and what I am going to do is give the ball to Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is the one who has won the victory. He is the one who's going to take us across the finish line. He is the one who is going to win the crown for us. Not anything else in this world. So maybe if you woke up this morning and your heart was dashed because your team didn't win the Super Bowl, notice and understand that our hope is not in a world uh, 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 Super Bowl trophy. Our hope is in Jesus Christ who is coming again. And we know that it is the last hour. Little children, it is the last hour. And as you've heard, we know the Antichrist is coming. But even so, we see all of these Antichrists that are coming, that are putting their hope in everything else but Jesus Christ. We know that it is the last hour. So we have to be ready. We need to be about the Father's business. We have to understand that it is third down with four to go. And that it is... The, this is the last chance. This is the last try. This is the last play that we possibly have. And unlike the 49ers who just could not get it done, they could not cross that line to win that prize and win that trophy that you and I have our forerunner, our great high priest, the one who has gone before us, the, 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 the one who has the prize. And I am reminded that Paul told us in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 25, do you not know that all that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Hey, there's only one person that receives the prize today. Only one team that receives the prize. Run in such a way that you may obtain it. You know, make sure that you're, you're making the best play. You know, that obviously... The 49ers didn't make the best play they possibly could yesterday. They didn't punch it in. They didn't receive the prize. But you and I, you and I have an opportunity to, to run in such a way that we may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, that trophy, that Vince Lombardi trophy that everybody is coveting over. Is perishable. It's going to burn. But you and I are, are running in a way to obtain an imperishable crown. 
Paul would go on in, in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and remind us to, um, and to you therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one entangled in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, worried about you know, find, trying to find our hope and our, our pleasure and our answer and anything else. You don't, you know, a, a person that goes into war isn't worried about all those things. He, that he just may please him who enlisted him as a sol soldier. And also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. Jesus Christ has given us the opportunity to be uh, those that would be participating in the final round, in the final play, the final last push to the end zone. Because we are on, it is third and four. We are 12 yards away from the finish line. The, the prize is right there. What are you going to do? What's going to be your final play? I say give the ball to Jesus Christ and get behind him as he runs it in for a touchdown because the hour is late. We are in the last hour because what kind of crown are we striving for? What kind of prize are you striving for? Is it for that next game? Are you like those that went and spent all that money to go to the Super Bowl, you know, raised all that hope, you know, was that was their team. It was their time. It was their third and four. The Super Bowl was, was, was within your sights. What are you going to do? Obviously, they made the wrong play. They made the wrong choice. They could have done it, but they didn't because they didn't give the ball to the right person. For you and I, the right person is Jesus Christ. He is going to take us across the finish line. The hour is late. We need to understand that he is coming again. We need to be about his business. We need to understand that it's time for the final push. I'll leave you with 1 Thessalonians 2.19 because Paul would say, for what is our hope or our joy or our crown of rejoicing? Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? Where are you finding your hope in today? Where are you finding your joy? Is it not being in the presence of those that are our brothers and sisters in Christ, in Jesus Christ coming? So I will say again, it's third and four with the game on the line. What are you going to do? What's your final play? Are you just going to sit back and wait for the next season? Are you just going to sit back and hope that maybe our guy can get it done? the next election or the next, you know, thing that's on your calendar, that next uh, uh, endeavor that you have, that next relationship. You need to understand that all those things are going to leave you up short. You are not going to make it across the finish line when you put your hope in those things. But when we put our hope and trust in Jesus Christ, who is coming again, to he is coming again to rescue us before he judges this evil, sinful, wicked world and that we need to be about his business because it's third and fourth with the game on the line. It is time to get through. We need to punch it into the end zone. And the only way that we can do that is to be about the Father's business in these last days, letting people know that the wrath is coming, that to in order to be rescued or to be saved from the wrath that is to come is to put our hope and faith in Jesus Christ. And if you have not done that, I cannot implore you enough. I'm... I understand what's on the line. I understand that we are at the last play. And I need to let you know that you need to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. If your hope is in anything else, you're going to come up short. You will lose the game. You will lose your reward. So you need to finish strong. We need to finish as if the game is on the line. We need to give the ball to Jesus and let him punch it into the end zone. And let us follow him for the prize of the upward call that is in Christ Jesus. So I just wanted to leave that with you today. Uh, just a short uh, little message that I was inspired. My internet went down at the house. I've been thinking about the game, thinking about, you know, Brock Purdy, he's a brother in the Lord. The guy loves the Lord. Uh, I've seen enough videos to trust in that. And, you know, I'm sure that he understands that his hope is not in that finished game. But for us, we have to understand we need to finish strong. Uh, the Lord's coming again soon. I don't think he's going to get a chance to win another Super Bowl because I think the, 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 the Lord is coming back beforehand. And so let's be about the Father's business. So thank you 
uh, and just continue to look up and know that our redemption draws near. The, the, the final play is in the works. So let's be about it and uh, let's make sure that we finish strong. So I just wanted to share that with you today and just want to end with Maranatha.